contract and, and under those conditions. They're trying to say that other teachers that, that choose not to belong to the union are not represented. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Good. The union represents every worker in this state. It's a right to work state. Mm -hmm. People that are in the union in mm -hmm. Tennessee are there because they want to be, not mm -hmm. because they have to be. And, and they remember things like not having weekends off. Mm -hmm. They remember okay. things uh -huh. when their boss could fire you on the spot. That's right. When they remember when somebody that age of that child here could, had to work. Mm -hmm. Now that's what unions brought to America. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants that back. Nobody in the right man in the state wants to see unions gone from the state because you're going to have that same kind of abuse of everybody. Mm -hmm. And nobody's going to take, take it. Now, everybody who's listening to your show ought to decide how many hours this coming week they're going to devote to figuring out who to call mm -hmm. to talk about mm -hmm. this union mm -hmm. hating busting mm -hmm. attempt mm -hmm. by the state legislature. Mm -hmm. And you would certainly encourage that. What would you say to these uh, folks that are out there this morning? In reference to uh, let their voice be heard. Mm -hmm. Come out and support mm -hmm. these efforts. Mm -hmm. uh, join these efforts. We will publicize them. Uh, social media has picked up on this, and, uh -huh. and they're really, really helping to mm -hmm. develop crowds and, and what have to come to these events. Uh, the National AFL-CIO, by the way, I'm Tennessee AFL-CIO president. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Rich Trumka is the mm -hmm. national president. And uh, we have this We Are One campaign that's going to revolve around April the 4th and uh, building up to and, and away from. And uh, we want small events. We want big events. We want everybody to talk about the fact that we are one, mm -hmm. that, that we in this country are losing our freedoms. And, uh, and so you're saying the working man in uh, Tennessee as well as across America really is in a dire street. We're under attack. Uh -huh. And, and it's, a, it's a frontal attack and it's a broad attack and we are under attack. Mm -hmm. April 4th is, is, is the day the king was killed. Uh -huh. So that should rally every okay, human being. Okay. That sound of us as living wage was uh -huh. part of his dream. Uh -huh. That was part of his dream. Uh -huh. You can't have a, uh, an intelligent citizenry that's poor mm -hmm. and, and poverty stricken. Part of that dream of making America mm -hmm. what it is has to be sharing the wealth of this mm -hmm. nation. Mm -hmm. And that was Dr. King's dream. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so in a real sense, uh, you think that uh, everything is right for that kind of revival of uh, the protest, not to just protest for the sake of protesting, but to deal with some real issues that the people evidently who came out of the uh, offices uh, th at this recent meeting we're concerned about, you see, and Absolutely. so there's a large, there's a ground swell. There, there's uh, legislation down there that, that, I mean, you know, they want to withdraw from national health care law that, that was passed in form of pact with other states. Um, they want to uh, tell you what's in the history books. They want to revise history. Uh, they want uh, uh, guns on campus. Guns, on, guns on campus, guns, guns everywhere, uh, guns and bars. Slant lords over everybody. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh -huh. I won't call any names, but but the, the guy that sponsored that bill about the, the slum lord uh -huh. is a slum lord. Yeah, well that's what that's what the newspaper yeah. said. Yeah, I think that, yeah, the newspaper has already said that in reference, in reference to that. Yeah. And of course, the idea here, as I understand it, is that uh, landlords no longer have to uh, uh, register with the uh, local government, which means right. that anybody can simply come in, set up a, a house, and. Uh, there's no way to control anything in reference to it. Is that, is that your reading of that? That's my reading of it. That yeah. seems to be a very, very uh, antiquated kind of situation, you know. Well, the idea is, I think, the general idea with the Republicans, I'll, I'll say it, Republican, is that uh, uh, the free market economy is good for everything and everybody, and everything for business, and business will make everything right with everybody else, but it doesn't work that mm -hmm. way. And. Uh, you know, they're taking everything and, and leaving the people with nothing. And when you start trying to balance the budget, like I said a while ago, mm -hmm. on the backs of poor people mm -hmm. and working people, there's not enough there to balance mm -hmm. the budget on. They just want to bring us down to our knees. Mm -hmm. And just kind of can continue the kind of control. Of course, Absolutely. you saw this in, in the uh, civil rights movement. Yeah, it, it, took, it took people, it took young people, it took everybody young people, to, to make that country uh -huh. change that hate uh -huh. that, that, uh, that was legal. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if hate sometimes is not legislated, sometimes comes in your heart. But in those days, those young people, the American people decide, we're, we're sick of it, we're tired of it. Make a plea to, the, to that group this morning, the young folks like uh, yourself who uh, started the civil rights movement, sit-ins and all that activity and the dangers that you went through, and, 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 and tell them that it, it's their time. Talk to them. It, it, it clearly is, is. We had a motto, and this applies to you all young people. If not now, when? Mm -hmm. And if not you, who? And the answer is, it is your country. We're retiring. Mm -hmm. 
you're going to have to stand up now so you can you can have a nation that you'd be proud of that you can go to college and get the, your tuition paid you can have babies that are healthy you can have their grandparents living in decent housing it's going to be you all that's going to sit there and watch either it happens where you want it to happen or somebody's going to happen make it happen to you either either you do it now do it with us and take the chance turn the turn the remotes off turn your mp3 off mm -hmm. turn turn the football games off get out there tweeting and all your tweeting. Uh -huh. that's not going to put one pin in your pocket mm -hmm. it's not going to make sure that you have a job when you finish high school or college mm -hmm. you can't pay a college loan back on on mcdonald's hamburgers you've mm -hmm. got to have a decent career oriented job that means unions that means respect for public employees that means turn that tv off mm -hmm. and get busy taking your rightful place in the movement mm -hmm. okay your final words uh, mr lee in reference to this I guess my final words would be to pay attention to educate yourself on what is truly going on. Mm -hmm. Go to the state legislature uh, here and in other states. Mm -hmm. Look at the bills that are being brought. Look at the way they're forcing them upon us. Mm -hmm. uh, with a large majority of people, there is no uh, heartfelt relief there for us, I'll tell you. It's all about business. It's all about uh, business interest, and mm -hmm. it's all about taking it away from the people. Okay, over the last 30 seconds, let me thank the two of you as well as a lot of for coming by and giving us that excellent information about uh, the protest movement in Tennessee. And, and certainly I couldn't uh, uh, end this without adding that uh, the students at Tennessee State University and all of these historical black colleges, Scary and others, have a special responsibility because they have to uh, continue this movement that was started here in a real sense. And so that's the only way let me encourage you to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Congress. Thank you and...